Welcome to the channel. In this video, in 6 minutes, I'm going to show you how to change the engine oil on D6M Caterpillar Bulldozer. You know, it's not that much different than changing oil on your Civic. Okay, make sure the engine oil is warm up to the normal operating temperature. Guys, if you're first time to the channel, please subscribe, click that notification bell and you won't miss any new videos. Okay, engine oil is warm up. Let's turn the engine off and put a key in your pocket. You don't want that machine to start it accidentally. Okay, turn night switch, aka master switch off. Make sure you're safe. Okay, let's pull the dipstick and oil filler cap. It will help us to drain the oil faster right we need to remove this side panel it's on the right side and i'm using 5 8 socket there's a three bolts around and that way we'll get access to our oil filter all right i have my blanket i have my impact and it's a 916 socket we need to remove the small cover plate to get access to the oil pan and then we can get to the drain plug all right as you can see it's off and there is a <laughs> there's a almost an inch of dirt okay let's dig through and yeah as bulldozers they work with lots of dust and lots of dirt and uh, yeah and uh, as you can see it's quite a bit guys if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below and here we go we have a rain that's a water accumulated and uh, yeah just uh, yeah where it is well yeah feels like a water with a little bit of grease and oil yeah let's drain into the drain pan and catch all that and uh, as you can see the drain cock with a cap we need to remove that cap and let's clean around and uh, yeah i'm just using a brake clean and wipe it with a paper towel and uh, yeah that's <laughs> very greasy okay a seven eight wrench and remove that plug and let the oil to drain i will take 10 15 minutes and because our engine is warm, oil is hot, it's easy. All right, here we go. There's a cap and 7.8. Seven, 7.8 eight Imperial wrench. Okay, my oil is still draining. And now we can remove that oil filter. And I'm using a pipe wrench. Works great and yeah a couple spins and uh, yeah make sure you have your paper towel lots of black old oil okay let's dump that oil into that collector drain pan and wipe oil filter housing make sure it's clean and make sure there's no old rubber gasket stuck to the housing okay i'm using a baldwin filter okay let's pre-fill the filter with the oil <laughs> this big filter and and put some oil on the rubber gasket make sure it won't get stuck next time you will do the oil change and uh, yeah this big filter and to follow those recommendation on the filter and never ever use any wrenches when you install the filters pretty simple and that filter took almost over half a liter of oil and we don't want our engine starve and run dry I'll do pre filled. Okay, let's put a oil filter back. And uh, yeah, any suggestions, critics, comments, put them down in the section below, guys. And I also will put more information down in the description. Please check it out, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Very appreciated that. Yeah, what kind of oil I'm using, what kind of engine, and well, a little bit about the Caterpillar Bulldozer <laughs> D6. All right, let's tie the oil. Uh, oil filter yeah it's pretty simple and uh, as i said at the very beginning it's not much different than doing an oil change on your honda civic or toyota corolla 
everything is just bigger but same principles there's no rush no hurry and yeah if it will help at least to one person that will be fantastic okay let's clean everything and put that drain plug back and tie it up with the same 7 8 wrench make sure it's snagged and won't leak and now let's remove that oil filler cap and install the funnel and as I said I will put uh, some information about how much oil I use for this particular model and uh, yeah guys simple as that as you can see not not a big of a deal put that oil filler cap back and let's pull the dipstick let's wipe it out the oil and put it back and then we'll have an accurate reading and then uh, here we go yeah we're up uh, slightly above the high mark which is good and some oil will still will go, go and circulate through the system and filter will take some extra it will be at a good spot okay night switch is on and now we're ready to fire it up all tools are clear and here we go let it idle for a few minutes for oil pressure to build up and uh, yeah as you can see oil pressure is light turned off and so we have a pressure and idle for, for a minute or so and turn it off let it settle and check for leaks around the filter gasket around the drain plug as you can see everything's clean and our goal for today is to change the oil and remember oil is cheap uh, engines are expensive change it regularly maintain your equipment and your equipment will take care of you thank you so much guys again for watching another beautiful day i hope today we have some sunshine uh, bright hours uh, when you change the oil and that way you will know when to do the next time okay stay safe take care guys see you soon bye bye now